What's going on everybody? My name is Greg Insin and welcome back to the Budget Geek Lifestyle and today we're going to be modding some of my consoles, my original Xboxes. I finally just got everything in the mail. It's right over here and you know what? I think we're going to have a fun time with this. This is probably one of the cheapest mods uh, that you can do for any console. We have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, which is the game that we'll be exploiting. We got this 64 megabyte USB drive. It's very generic and it's actually caused a lot more than I expected. We got this cable, which is a female USB to a regular like Xbox uh, controller thing. If it'll focus, it doesn't matter. And then we got this, which I will talk about later once we actually get to exploiting the games and stuff. But let's just jump right into it. So we have the USB drive hooked up. If it'll focus, it's fine. Uh, to the Xbox, we got my CRT TV with mono audio, you know. So let's just turn on the Xbox because we need to uh, format this drive. And it does have a light indicator, so that's good. I actually did not know that. Now that we have the Xbox hooked up and it's all turned on, we need to format this drive. So let's do that real quick. Alright, so the memory card is showing up, and unfortunately, I don't have any screen capture, but if you do want screen capture, I will link down a video tutorial down below, but first, we need to actually make sure that the Xbox will make sure it keeps the formatting, because when I was doing things with the SD card, this SD card to USB adapter, it would just keep reformatting the drive every time I would unplug it from the Xbox. So now, moment of truth, will this be completely formatted and not reformat itself? And success! Plugged it back in, it's fine. So let's get on to loading this up with the exploit game files that we need in order to soft mod this Xbox. All right guys, so we're here on my desktop and we have Explorer 360 open which is a program that allows us to open up our USB drive that has not been formatted by Windows We just clicked on that here. We are and there's nothing on this drive right now And we have the Xbox soft modding tool from Rocky 5 Which I'll also leave in the link to the description below uh, the tutorial that I leave will also tell you everything that you need to know about this tool but basically we've downloaded this from github we've built this file we've unzipped this zip file we've gone in here and now we need the soft modding packages this udata folder i created by unzipping this soft mod save using 7-zip and just extracting the files here along with the game that i'm using tony hawk's pro skater 4 there's a bunch of other games that we will talk about later when we discuss just how cheap it can be to mod your xbox but for now let's drag over the game save for tony hawk that we're going to be exploiting uh, there should be a little save bar it's not there and then oops let's drag over the data that we need for the soft mod itself there we go it's coming up this one is going to take a little bit longer just because there's so many other files but that's fine just wait a little bit it's not too many files And now it's done. So we have everything that we need. We have all the files that we'll need in order to exploit the Xbox. Let's jump back over to the Xbox after I, you know, take out the USB drive from the computer. Hey guys, we're back. We have the flash drive plugged into the Xbox with all the files loaded onto it. We have our Xbox here. We have the TV, of course. Let's turn everything on. So right now the Xbox is off. I just want to turn it on and make sure that we can copy the files from this flash drive over to the hard drive. So here we are in the memory unit and as we can see we have this custom hack xbox park file that we need to copy on over to the xbox hard drive. There we go, simple as that, it's a very small file and then the xbox soft mounting toolkit as well, do not delete. Alright so now if we can just scroll through we should be able to find the files that we need after there's so many games on here I didn't even know we can find a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 right there and then at the bottom should be of course the Xbox soft modding tool so now all we have to do is take Tony Hawk this precious game 
pop that bad boy open. Bada bing, bada boom, maybe. Yeah. See, look, it's a nice disc. Then we pop it in there. Oh, and I turned it off. All right, so we loaded Tony Hawk in. We don't need this bad boy anymore. Go, go over there. Hang out with the Pokemon. All right, so we're in the game. Sweet. So we go to build a park. We got this park editor. It's pretty sweet, but, uh, you know, that's just not what we need. We need a load a park. Please, please let me load a park. Yes. Hack Xbox. And now we wait, and it turns red. That's good. When the ring turns red, that means the soft mod has been loaded. And now we just gotta wait. I have no idea how long this is supposed to take. So uh, sit with me in my beautiful reflection. I just reloaded the exploit, you know, turned off the Xbox, restarted it, load the exploit, and there it is. This beautiful screen. This is exactly what we want. So let's get through it. Let's start installing stuff. So we press A and it's just loading all this stuff. Like, dang, this, this couldn't be any more easier. All right, so now we're backing up our EEPROM, which is very important. Uh, we have to copy this to our PC in order to be able to like, uh, just in case our hard drive dies so we can have another like backup hard drive if we need to replace it and all kinds of other important stuff. So let's hit A and then yes, this is needed, yep. And wow, is that it? Hey. So now we're just gonna take out the game real quick. And then I believe we should be good. I think that's literally how easy it is. So now we wait for this to load up. Like, I, I honestly didn't expect it to be that easy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer. I thought the footage that I've been watching, yep, there it is. See, it's installing everything right now. It's really simple. Just moving all these files and the ring is orange, so that's good. I don't think it should be any other color. It'll restart itself again. And then I believe after all of this, it should be fine. Maybe like one more restart, but that's it. And here we are. This is it. This is what the soft modded Xbox looks like. We can launch games, applications, and all kinds of other stuff, but I am not done yet. There's other stuff that we can do to this Xbox to make it extra cool. And it, all it requires is a DVD that you can burn. But right here, this is a blank DVD. You can buy a set of these on Amazon or eBay or whatever for just a couple dollars. It's just a generic brand. It's a DVD plus R. I don't think it matters too much, but this has been burned with the extras disc for this, which comes with a lot of cool applications and other stuff that we can use to enhance our soft modded Xbox. So let's just load that real quick by pressing A. You just gotta launch this disc, baby. If, if it'll say that it's initializing, oh. it's, you know, we just got to wait a bit. I don't think the disk drive's the greatest in this one. Empty. Empty! We've reloaded the Xbox, and here we have the extras disk. You know, there's a disclaimer, there's a whole bunch of applications we can install, and you know what? I'll let you guys watch the tutorial, but... Uh, let's just uh, install everything real quick that I want in this. was trying to make this bad boy connect to the internet as you can see 
uh, not necessarily the internet, but my home network, and by home network, I mean the stuff that my school has. I have this uh, unmanaged switch, which means that uh, it, this is basically just like extra ports. It doesn't assign any IP addresses. Focus. Focus. It's not going to focus. But anyways, uh, so this bad boy, if this will focus, there we go, thank you. Uh, just cannot connect to the network because of the weird policies that my school has. I tried everything I could, but since I don't have anything managed over there, uh, I can't, like, give this an IP address that I can connect to my computer. So, uh, I guess that's where we're at for at least setting this up. I'll have to figure out some way to back up the EEPROM later. But, let's head over to the computer so we can figure out how much all these modifications, all the things that you'll need to buy, how much that will cost you if you want to soft mod your own Xbox. So, I went on eBay to find prices for a whole bunch of these things, and this is a relatively cheap mod, as I've been saying throughout the video. The first thing you'll want is an Xbox to USB adapter, so that'll be the male Xbox to a female USB. Uh, this will cost you anywhere from, like, less than two dollars if it comes like all the way from china with very slow shipping uh all the way up to seven maybe eight dollars and you can also buy these on amazon as well and you'll probably have factor shipping there so if you want this right away probably the more expensive one that you buy the faster it'll get to your home the flash drives so this best runner flash drive uh it's, this is the one that i personally got it was four dollars and 35 cents it came relatively quick like within a couple of days but then there's these other ones like you can buy in bulk if you want to get some for your friends there's these like four dollar ones uh, there's a dollar for this one i think that's for like maybe a gigabyte or no that's 64 meg yeah they all have weird names so basically these also range and very much in price from a dollar all the way up to maybe like 10 and you can also get bigger ones but i recommend anywhere between 64 to 512 megabytes uh, for an original xbox anything higher than that it's usually going to be a little bit wonky and you can only also buy these and the cables from aliexpress as well if you want to get them really cheap but again it'll take a little bit longer to get to you but the games themselves so here i have tony honk pro skater for it doesn't matter which version of this you buy uh, it'll cost you anywhere from like uh, a good bid of like four dollars or something that's what it looks like there's only a bid one bid on this one uh, all the way up to i believe i've seen them for like ten dollars yeah so it's kind of an expensive game but i found mine for about like six or seven dollars i believe you have mech assault which is about uh, like five dollars but you don't want uh the version that says uh platinum hits that'll be with like the gray logo on the top i can't really find one right now uh that's really weird usually uh you find a lot of those but i'm not so if you can get a mecha salt that looks like this without the gray label like where is it not not lone wolf you want the original one like this one i believe that's the one you want if you want a mod and then 007 Agent Under Fire, same thing as Mech Assault. You don't want the Platinum Hits version, you want the regular version, and it's really hard to come across. Like this one, that's the one that you want. This one is factory sealed, wow! So $25, so kind of expensive. Some Platinum Hits work, but just, just try and stay away from Platinum Hits if you don't want this James Bond game. Last but not least is Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. I almost forgot about this one, but this one is probably the most common one that you will find but it seems to be about in the same ballpark as Tony Hawk in prices. So anywhere from like $5 up to maybe 10, you don't definitely not conviction or double agent or any other ones you want the original splinter cell. Overall, if we do the math, it'll cost you about $2 for an Xbox to USB if you want the absolute cheapest one, about a dollar to $2 if you want the cheapest flash drive you can get, and probably around $5 for the cheapest one of these games that you can find. So overall, this is a very cheap mod, only $7, maybe 10 if you're a little bit more uh, not <laughs> wanting to wait on stuff. I paid 15 myself for everything just because I wanted stuff here relatively fast. So yes, modding your Xbox is really cheap. So that's it. 
we've covered uh, the process that I did to mod this Xbox over here. I told you guys how much it cost and everything else. And tell me, what do you guys want to see when it comes to mods or anything like that? Do you want me to do like hard mods for the Xbox? Do you want to see other consoles? Let me know. I think that's about it for me. So if you guys enjoyed this content, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It'll be somewhere over here. And check out one of the videos on the side. One of you want I recommend to you. One of you want YouTube recommends to you. Check out all the links down below. My name's Gregginson, and it, oh, look, it's modded! It's modded! Ha! Ah.